Hi everybody, it's Susan from Sunrise Quilt Studio and today's block is called Monkey Wrench Variation. So it, it has the base of a monkey wrench, yet we have flying geese units in it and a four patch unit here in the center. So this one um, is pretty traditional. It can be really striking depending on what colors you use and where you place them. So I hope you'll stay with me and I'll show you how to make this monkey wrench variation. Okay, today we are making the monkey wrench variation block. So here are the fabrics that you're going to need to make one of the blocks. For A, you'll need two two and a half inch squares. B is also two two and a half inch squares. For C, you need two five inch squares. D is for two and a half by four and a half inch rectangles. E is two five inch squares. F is four two and a half by four and a half inch rectangles and G is eight two and a half inch squares and you need to draw diagonal lines on the wrong side of the E and the G pieces. So I'm going to adjust the camera and we'll get started making this block. Okay I'm going to start by making flying geese and so we need the D and the G pieces and we're going to sew a G piece on one side of the D rectangle. So I usually start on the right hand side of the rectangle and with the G piece I'm going to lay it, I'm going to lay it on the right side and I'm going to start sewing from the center top to the bottom right hand corner so I have my drawn line going in that direction. And I'm going to go ahead and sew right on that drawn line. I'm using leaders and enders. It just helps with this older machine. And then I'm going to trim off this corner and leave a quarter inch seam allowance. So trim a quarter inch away from the seam you just sewed. Okay, so we have that and then I'm going to press this triangle back. So we'll have that. Okay, so here we have that and then I'm going to sew another G square to this side and I'm going to go lay the drawn line at the top of the center and then go down to the bottom left hand corner now. going to use these pieces as an ender here. Okay, I'm going to cut this triangle off leaving a quarter inch seam allowance and I'll press that back and then we'll have the flying geese unit. Okay, so there's flying geese unit and we need four of those so I'm going to chain piece the others together as I sew and so I'll be doing all of the right sides first and then I'll do the left side. Okay, so I have all four flying geese units. So the next thing I want to do is to sew an F square to the bottom. So they're going to go like this, 
This is an F rectangle. And they're going to go like that. So I'm just going to sew all of these together. Okay, so here's what those look like. So I have four of those, and I'm gonna set those aside. Now we're gonna make some four patch units. So I need the A and the B squares, right here, A and B, and we're going to sew a yellow square to a blue square, or an A square to a B square. And my B squares have a direction to them. Um, so it doesn't really, matter on this one because they're going to be rotated so as long as I lay them both the same direction because this set is going to be turned this way and so everything is going horizontal so we're doing okay there so I'm just going to line up the raw edges and sew with a quarter inch seam allowance And then I'm going to press towards the darker fabric and then sew them together. Okay, so I have those pressed and I'm just going to turn one the opposite direction and we're going to sew those together. So I'm going to nest my seams together and I'm going to go ahead and put a pin in there so they don't shift on me. And sew that seam. Here we have the four patch unit. Okay, now I need to make half square triangles with the C and the E pieces. So I'm gonna put those right sides together. And I've already have my drawn line on the wrong side there. So we do right sides together and with these being larger pieces I'm going to go ahead and put in a couple of pins just so they don't shift so I'm going to put one on each side of the drawn line. And I'm going to sew a quarter inch away from that drawn line. And now I'm going to cut right on that drawn line. Okay, now I have two half square triangles and I'm going to press towards the dark fabric and um, then I'm going to trim this down. This needs to measure four and a half inches and it may be a little bit larger so I want to measure this just to make sure. 
and trim it down if it needs to. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other one first and then I'll do all of those steps together. Okay, so I have four half square triangles and now I'm going to trim these down to four and a half inches. So now I have all of the units done and ready to assemble the block. So I'm going to lay it out into units and I'm going to start with the center which is the four patch and on each side of the four patch will go a flying geese unit and the geese are going to point towards the center. So I'm just going to lay each one of those out. And then the flying geese units go on the end. And they're going to point in. Okay. So now I have all of my pieces laid out. And I'm going to double check, make sure I have it the way I want it. And then I'm going to sew all the units in two rows and then I'll sew all the rows together. And then the monkey wrench variation block will be done. So I'm going to start by just laying the pieces one on top of each other. So I'll sew the first two pieces of each row together and then I will add the last piece and then I'll press all of those rows and then I'll sew them together. Now some of these units will have points to match, but not all of them. So now I'm going to sew the rows together and I'm going to pin at the seams here and nest them together and pin them. And I have the seams pressed in opposite directions. And I want to make sure the tip of this flying geese is lining up with the seam of the four patch here. So I got this tip of that flying geese unit right lined up right with that seam. And I'm going to pin that. Hopefully that won't shift while I'm sewing. So here are the first two rows. Got those together, then I'm going to add the third row. And do the same thing with nesting seams and pinning. OK, 
Okay, I'm going to press and we can look at the block. Here is our finished block. So I think that turned out pretty well. Um, this really simple piecing, flying geese units, half square triangles, and a four patch. So that's all there is to that. So that makes an interesting block. I really like the colors. Um, this is the Nutmeg line by Basic Gray. And uh, then this is a Grunge by Moda. So really pretty colors. And you know, you can turn it however you want it in your block. You can even put it on point and get a completely different look there. Okay, that is it for the Monkey Wrench Variation Block. So I really like the colors in this one. I think it's a happy block and I hope you'll give this one a try. Now if you like this video, please click that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and click that notification bell so you'll be notified when the next video comes up. And in the meantime, I hope you are all staying safe and healthy and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. For more quilting ideas, click on the video links. And to keep up with my latest projects, click on the subscribe button. I hope to see you again soon.